Hello once again. Now to discuss windshield washer pumps. And this is a pretty complex circuit. As you see, we have many pumps. M means it's a pump. We have for the windshield, the washer fluid. We have for the headlamp, washer pump. We have for the rear window. And you have this one over here, the wiper. Now, depending on the circumstance, First of all, we have a relay. We know current flows here to here. This is the control line. That means we need a ground from this. Windshield washer relay control. It gives it a ground. When that happened, this closes and now this windshield washer fluid pump is activated. <clears throat> it sprays it sprays the, the 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 windshield washer. Fine. Okay. Now, we have another part. Now we have something for headlamp washer. I guess if you want to clean the headlamps, right? This is And this is a Chevy. Can you imagine? We go over here. Now we're doing with, dealing with a body control module. <clears throat> body control module is gives it a switch. Give this headlamp wash switch over here, the white one. Turns this on the ground, and then it turns this on. Same as over there. Except different module. Now again, same thing for this one. Rear washer gives it a ground, turns this one on. <clears throat> Basically, all three, we give this one a ground from this one. We give this one a ground from the body control module. We give this one a ground for body control module for the rear window washer. So sometimes if you think it's only the switch or the actual pump, guess what? Now you have modules involved. Not so easy, is it? Now, for the other one, the wiper, we have switches over here also. Turn signal, multifunction switch, but also windshield wiper, washer switch. We know we could give, we could make the, the mist high, low, all these things. These are <clears throat> the settings that we do when we put it on, right? So therefore, this one over here is for the mist and pulses or low or high. And they go together. They're ganged together. So this one gives it a supply. Gives it a supply. When that happens, you see this coil? This coil goes here. Goes over here. And it goes to wherever it is connected. Here, here, here. Wherever it's connected to. So therefore, th this one over here... We'll close this switch over here. <clears throat> Activate the, the motor, the wiper motor for this one. This one, low speed, it'll activate this coil. And now this one, you see this gang together? You see this one gang together? This will come here and then it'll turn on the pump. So for this one is this one. But for the low speed, is, the low speed is this one. We'll turn this one on. Both. The other thing is of this one. I looked at it and I said, "What's going on?" Outside moisture sensor. This one. Outside moisture sensor. A signal. I look at it and I say, "Okay, it's coming back to this one, to this module." Outside moisture sensor signal one. That can only be that it senses when there's something on the windshield. Uh, moisture or something like that and then automatically it turns on the pump uh, uh, the windshield wiper amazing isn't it absolutely amazing how from a sensor this must be the sensor obviously giving it information and it turns on the pump amazing isn't it you don't even have to put it on yourself now so anyway basically I just wanted to go over to skim over it this gets a ground headlight gets a ground Rear window gets a ground. The settings that you do are based on these resistors. And the wiper is determined from this one. This one controls the wiper. Accessory voltage is 12 volts. And so, if you think again, when, let's say windshield washer doesn't work. It could be the relay, could be this one. 
for the headlamp washer pump doesn't work. Could be this one, could be this one, the BCM. Also for rear window washer, doesn't work, could be the relay, could be the BCM. If the wiper doesn't, uh, doesn't work, right? It doesn't work in any speed or whatever, could be this module then over there. So this is electronics, unfortunately, but this is how it, how it works. And please go to my channel, Joe Electronics Schematics for Auto, to see more videos about uh, mass airflow sensors and also about uh, how to check fuses.